guys, it's Saturday morning and it's time for another workshop in our studio in Emmeloord. And actually it's not in our studio, but I will tell you more about that in the next scene. Okay, so what is different at today's workshop? Well, normally of course I teach workshops on location, like an urbex location or a castle, and we teach workshops in our studio. Today we're going to do something completely different. Today we are actually going out in Emmeloord. Now, what is Emmeloord, right? It's my hometown. And what I want to show in this workshop to the students is that the best locations often are in your backyard. You don't have to travel far. Now, it won't be shots like with a Taj Mahal on the background because, hey, it's Emmeloord. But I will show the students that they can make great shots by using very simple tools and very simple backdrops. And they don't have to travel far for them. It's right literally in their own backyard. So that's the theme for today's workshop. And you know what? I'm going to take you behind the closed doors and show you around during the workshop today. Okay, first location is actually very close to our studio with a nice backdrop and we use the flash bender and small flash and it's so close to our studio as you can see here. Hello Krista. Hello. <laughs> so here we have the rest of the group waiting their turn for the amazing Puka. Great styling again. Great model. Here we have the cat people. We have two Ellingroms and one Trevor von Clay photography, my friend from the UK. How are you, man? Hello! <laughs> Hello. He's just using the wrong flash bender, so we have to convince him to use mine. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> we finally see him in the wild, the photographer and the model, and the so called Vel. Now, what is a Vel? It's actually a voice activated light stand. So if you tell him to go down, he will go down. And if you tell him to go up, he will go up. They're very expensive and high maintenance, but you can get them at any grocery stores. Probably they're outside waiting for the photographer to do groceries. So now let's, uh, Trevor, show him how not to do it. So picture of me, Trevor. Trevor just aims at the model, and the model gets his strobe. Yeah, no, it's not bad. It's okay. It's good. But not that close. Yeah, it's more like a, a tree growing out of your yeah, yeah, no. No, oh, that's not that good. Oh. So we also tell students how not to light your model. And this is actually... Guys, what are you doing? I don't... I don't... Okay, just well, take the picture. we don't know what we're doing. That's why we're here. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. This is not going to work. No, no. <laughs> okay, let's turn around and see how the professionals do it. That's much better, yeah. Light the model. Yeah, better. Second setup in the tunnel. We're using an ELB 400 with a high sink head and a maxi light and our amazing model Puka, of course. Really cool styling again. A new setup in a cornfield, and we have Puka, and we're using the same Quadra with the high sink head and the ELB. And now, actually, we're shooting up to shutter speeds of one four thousandths of a second, and also, of course, with ambient light, a little bit more in the frame with lower shutter speeds. So, showing them a lot of different options from one set. This effect, and now I don't like the noise that much, so I will press apply. But I will just take the effect down on certain areas. So we'll just do a layer hide all and then add the effect in only on the graffiti. Final setup behind our studio in the bushes with Puka and again with the Quadra and the Ellingrom Maxi Light. Love the Maxi Light, gives you a lot of power outside. And now it starts to rain, so we have to be quick. You make a nickel. Okay, thanks. There we go. Really nice. Look at their expressions. Awesome. Great. Okay, for the final setup we're using a special effect with the green gel and the model. And <laughs> that's going to give a really cool effect on the sky. And of course the most important shot in a shoot is the color checker to get the color correct and no color casts. There we go. To make the sky red. The thing you have to remember is photography is not about lighting, it's not about gear, it's about telling a story and doing something different. 
what I try to do is get the images straight out of the camera. As you can see here, a very simple green gel, you balance on the model, you, you play around with your color balance, and you can create something that's actually straight out of the camera, already cool. Okay, so I'm done with retouching, and let me show you some of the results really fast. This is the first one. This was shot with the Frank Doro Flash Bender and Small Flash. Same thing, using higher shutter speeds to make sure that you get that really nice, almost day to night. And I love the way that the sun actually goes around the model. Really nice shot. Great work with Puka, of course. This was in the bicycle tunnel. And shot from high above low with a wide angle. This was, um, of course, in the cornfield. Really love those shots. Uh, love what she does with the leaves. This was natural light, so no strobes. No strobes were used in this image. Here we have natural light. This was the last setup. And here you can see it without the green gel. And here you have the same setup with the green gel. Really gives you that nice magenta looking sky. And this is the final one. Now you saw that there was no graffiti in the tunnel. And one of the students asked, can you make graffiti in the tunnel? So what I actually did is in Photoshop, we actually added some of the graffiti here. So, that's behind the closed doors for today. Thank you so very much for watching. But I have one more small thing for you guys in the next scene. Okay guys, I hope you liked today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors, but I have something special. This is the last day of this time for the MacFun competition. And MacFun makes great plugins and apps for your Mac, because that's why they call MacFun. Now, I personally love Tonality and, of course, Intensify, which is in a lot of my shots. Now, if you want a free app from MacFun, the only thing you have to do is go online, go on any social media platform, but make sure to tag me and say why you want that plugin from MacFun. For example, I love MacFun and I like to give my images pop, so I want Intensify. And after the weekend, I will select one lucky winner who will get a plugin of his choice totally free. Hey, that's cool, right? You don't have to pay anything for it. So make sure you check it out on social media, or sorry, that you put it on social media and tag me in it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm signing off for the weekend. So a new Behind the Closed Doors will probably be on Tuesday or Wednesday, because Sunday and Monday we're off. So thank you so very much for watching. And of course, support us on Patreon, because that's what makes this all possible. Thank you. Have a great weekend. And enjoy whatever you're going to do this weekend. Bye-bye.